Now I'm often asked by my students, when do we use integration by parts? Well, integration by parts is for handling products of two functions of x. So for instance, suppose we had x times x minus 2 integrated with respect to x. Here we have a product of two functions of x, x multiplied by x minus 2. But this is an example unfortunately, that I wouldn't use integration by parts, even though I'm saying that we have two functions of x being multiplied together. Because to do this, I could actually multiply this bracket out and get x squared minus 2x, and it's very easy to integrate x squared and 2x. We have to use integration by parts generally when we've got two functions of x being multiplied together which cannot be expanded. Let me just show you. Let's suppose we had the integral of, say, x multiplied by an exponential function, like e to the 2x, with respect to x. We cannot expand this at all, so this is a typical example that we would use for integration by parts. It doesn't have to start x, it could start the integral of x squared, e to the 5x, say dx. There you go. What else could we have? We could have, say, the integral of x with a natural log function, like x natural log of x dx. It doesn't have to start with an x or an x squared. It could be something like x plus 1 multiplied by a natural log of x dx. Okay? You could have trig ones. We could have the integral of, say, x squared cos 2x with respect to x, or even x plus 2 times the sine of x with respect to x. So what you need to do is familiarize yourself with integrals that look like this, where you've got products then of two functions of x Generally, they come from different types of functions. Here we've got exponential functions being multiplied by x, x squared, or natural log functions being multiplied by x, x plus 1, and so on. In harder examples, you get integrals like this, e to the x being multiplied by a trig function, say cos x dx. Anyway, so hopefully you're familiar with recognizing these type of integrals then that we do by integration by parts. And I'll take you through similar examples like this and ones with limits in my other tutorials.